Uh, oh, I have to do this here. Okay. It is like a golden ring in the nose of a pig and a beautiful woman without any content. Let's see what this means. Kamo, just like a person, this is a person who doesn't learn Torah, just like, <clears throat> just like a golden ring in the nose of a pig, so also is a beautiful woman with no content. What is this like a person that knows Torah? What, 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 what are we comparing to? A ring and a, a pig with a woman. What's going on over here? This is talking about a person who learns Torah. He has Torah. That's the golden ring. That's the beautiful lady. But he leaves, he, he doesn't value the learning. He's like a pig. He has this beautiful ring in his nose and he makes it disgusting. You ever see pigs, they stick their noses on this. Just like a woman that has no content to her. What does it mean? She disgraces her beauty and makes it, uh, what do you say? Disgraceful. Disgraceful. There was, a, 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 some people say, Nezam Zav Af Chazir, this is the language, Nezuf. Nezuf. That's what he says. A person that doesn't know the Torah is called Nezuf. Remember that? Remember here. Called Nezuf. Nezuf. He says that's Nezam Zahav the Af Chazir. Where does he get the Vav from? Where did he get the Vav from? Here. Nezam Zuv Av. Oh, it doesn't. There is no Vav. Nezam Zav Nezuf. Okay. Nezuf. Right. Omra Kasu. Because that's what it says that the tablets were the work of God and the writing on the tablets was also the work of God and it was carved out on the tablets. Don't say just carved out, but free. Harut and Cherut. Exactly the same letters. Almost the same spelling. This one just has a comet, Chorut. This one has a Tzere, Chirut. She'en l'cha ben Chorin. No one is really free. She'en l'meshubad l'yetzro. That he's not, I'm sure we did this. The Yetzir Hora and his desires, except for one who learns Torah. Like we learned in the Mishnah, a previous Mishnah, that the Torah is garments are humility and fear of God. This keeps a person from sin, etc. Like take an example, what do you want to be free? Like an animal. Uh, animals are free. That's called free, right? You're free like an animal. You don't even have to wear any clothes. Just running around, doing whatever you want to. That's free. Huh? Free as the wind, free as the clouds, whatever free. So the answer is, what do you mean you're free? You're, you are a servant to your own nature. You can't do anything else. But what? There's one advantage to an animal, and the animal doesn't know anything else. Right? You never get a, a bear that wants to be a squirrel. A squirrel that hates being a squirrel, he would do anything just to be a horse. And there's no such thing. Human beings are exactly the opposite. Human beings are exactly the opposite. Human beings, you give them everything that they want to, right? And they're miserable. Miserable. So a person could think to himself, listen, maybe it's better to be an animal, you know, be a pig. So the answer is no, you're not free. If you're a pig, you're this, you're not really free. Because the advantage of having <clears throat> responsibility is that you have challenges and you have to overcome. Life is interesting. An animal's life is not interesting. Well, it was interesting. He goes, he gets up, up, up finds a, uh, whatever it is, a uh, peach or something, big deal. Like it says, but in the beginning it says, the Jews start off mid bar matana. And the wise men said, if a person puts himself like a desert, then everybody's walking on it. We did this yesterday. Then the learning Torah will stay 
by him. The Torah was given as a gift, matana. That's what it is, midbar. If you make yourself like a desert, and you're not always ar arguing for yourself, then matana, then you will hold on to the matana. What's the matana? The Torah. Since the Torah was given as a gift from God, nachala, nachalu el. Nachali el, that's what he said. Nachali el. This is a nachala, it is a gift from el, from God. And from that, bamo, the bama is an elevated place. It raises a person up, elevates him above all the other creations. Next Mishnah. A person who learns one law. I'm sorry, let's do this again. A person who learns from his friend one paragraph or one law or one sentence or one word or even one letter. If he's teaching you Torah, you have to give him credit and honor. He's your teacher. If that's what we find in David Melech Israel. That he didn't learn from Achitofel. Achitofel was his chief advisor. In the end, he turned on him. He only learned from Achitofel two things, and he called him master, teacher. How do you say the, 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 the one who lets me know things, edu educator? Like it says in Tehillim, you are a person like my love. King David was a king. You are a person just like me. Alufi, my teacher, Miyudai. So if King David, that he was a king, and nevertheless he called Achitofu, my teacher, my learner, called the Homer. That Achitofel only, only taught him two things, because now there's going to be a big question. But isn't it a call of Homer? Isn't it obvious that just as King David, he was the king of Israel, that he only learned from Achitofel two things, and he called, he said, you are my teacher, my educator, you, you, how do you say, you, let me know you're my professor. As a lomid mechavero, a person who learns from his friend one law, or one one chapter or one law or one word or even one sentence or even one word, how much more so? Okay, he's going to answer this question and ask it, but, but if David Amelech praised Achitovo because he learned two things, so us, how much more so if we only learn one thing? What type of, it's not a call of a homer. A call of a homer is supposed to be to say, if David Amelech praised him for learning one th two things, then also, if we learn two things, how do we get one thing? So let's look and see. We're going to, we're going to understand this. Like it says, Ein Kabod, the only real honor, only, what do you mean you have to give honor to the person? Is the Torah. Like it says, Kabod Chachami Min Chalu, Tamimi Yun Chalu Tov. Ain't told the Torah, there's only good is Torah. And when somebody gives you Torah, you should really be grateful to him. Like it says, Ki tov nasati lechem si al Okay, my friends. By the way, I think maybe we should, if you agree, maybe you could do it with, uh, with your Rachmiel. Maybe we should make a um, WhatsApp group. WhatsApp group, huh? We can, that way we can let each other know about when there's classes and what classes are. And- um, has, the, has the schedule changed at all? No, we can also share interesting ideas, tidbits. Once in a while, the, the class will be canceled. It happens rarely. Once in a while, there's a change in time, right? What, sometimes, sometimes people have a simcha, 
that they want to announce. Sometimes people don't come, they don't see it. <clears throat> or just in general news. Anyway, if you want to, it's an idea. Maybe it's not a good idea, but it's an idea. Okay, ready? Let's go. Let's go. A person who learns one thing from his friend or one law or one pasuk, you have to give him honor. Even one letter, you have to give him honor. And we're going to have to continue this tomorrow and on Sunday to explain what it means 